I am a one away motorway. I'm the one that drives away and follows you back home. I am a street light shining. I used a lip tar on my eyebrow today for shits and giggles. Ra. Today we are talking about the hardest thing we have ever experienced. Um, so it says, what is the hardest thing you have ever experienced? Uh. This one is quite a difficult one for me. Not to sound overly dramatic, but I have experienced quite a few difficult things in my lifetime already, um, which has kind of made me into the person that I am today. And some of these things, I don't feel comfortable speaking about on the internet. Maybe I will in the future, in future videos, or, you know, maybe it's a possibility that I could open up a bit more in the future, but there's certain things that I wouldn't want to talk about due to trolls or, you know, people I know in real life finding these things out and then basically, you know, hitting the roof about it. I've compiled three main points that I want to cover and if I go off onto a tangent then I'll go off onto a tangent but I kind of want to keep it short and sweet I don't want to overload this video I'm saying that but I have no idea how long it's going to be hopefully not too long one of the hardest things I've had to experience is coming to terms with the fact that I'm bipolar um, I've not really touched on this subject very much in a lot of my videos I will at some point do a video all about it but just for now I'm not really ready yet um, to talk about that. I can touch upon it every now and then but I'm not really ready to you know go into full detail about it. That made a huge impact on my life and it was one of the most difficult things I had to experience. Um, going through the process of finding out that something wasn't quite right and when I hit that state of euphoria I can see colours and things can appear not the way they are and it's trippy as shit. I've been researching into what drugs you would have to take to kind of feel the same euphoric high that I feel when I'm in that bipolar state and apparently the um, two drugs that could possibly put you in that frame of mind as a bipolar person in that state of euphoria is actually taking LSD and speed. Now they are two pretty hardcore drugs so to come to terms with the fact that my brain can naturally release this drug that makes me feel like I'm on drugs that was something really crazy that I had to overcome and that's the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. I'd say the depressing part of my bipolar has been a massive a massive experience on its own. It's definitely been the hardest thing, um, well one of the hardest things that's ever happened to me, um, accepting the fact that I'm depressed. I do not have a incredibly bad case of bipolar. It's like bipolar light basically. Uh, <laughs> um, like Stephen Fry said, because Stephen Fry is also manic depressive, um, his type of bipolar is the same type of bipolar that I've got apparently. Apparently, you can never really, you know, spot on exactly, exactly what is wrong with a person really a lot of the time, especially when it comes to mental illness, because um, everybody's brain is different, it just reacts differently to everything. Um, but yeah, so bipolar light, but even this lightest form of bipolar that I have or whatever, still the come down from that euphoric high is something incredibly difficult to, you know, control and a lot of people ask me how I'm so happy on the outside most of the time and stuff like that and I'd say that one of the hardest things that I've had to overcome is getting used to the way that my brain works and I've come to know that certain things that I do in certain moods can help them if that makes any sense but that's definitely been one of the hardest things I've had to experience is kind of grabbing control of myself and my feelings and managing that and I'll talk about that in a later video on the things that I actually do to control my brain, the things that I do to calm myself down. We'll leave that topic there, but that's definitely one of the hardest things. Another thing that's incredibly difficult for me, something that's been a very hard experience, is accepting myself. Not only accepting myself for being bipolar, but accepting myself for the person I am, the personality I have, my appearance, all of these things, because I've been incredibly insecure, I know that apparently I seem to wreak this sense of confidence and everybody's like, how are you so confident with yourself? And wow, yada yada, you've inspired me to be at one with myself and understand myself and accept myself. It makes me so happy when people say that because it was incredibly difficult for me to accept myself and to gain the confidence that I have gained. And sometimes when I'm really low on my confidence, I could have 
all the confidence in the world. I could have more confidence than Will Smith and that could disappear the next day within two minutes. It's a yo-yo. My life and my emotions and my confidence are a massive yo-yo. But I have accepted myself for who I am and I love myself for who I am. And you only get one body, you only get one brain, you only get one appearance. You are unique and you are beautiful and you should embrace that. Yeah, I wear makeup. Yeah, I style my hair. Yeah, I wear crazy clothes. Yeah, I do all these things. Playing with my image for me is just like throwing paint on a canvas. It's not to cover myself up. Yes, I do feel more confident with makeup on like any other girl does. But this canvas I've been given, I'm going to play with it. I'm going to embrace it because that's me. But it took me a very, 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 very long time. A very long time to accept that. And other things that have been incredibly hard for me to experience in my life are being bullied. Um, bullying has had a long lasting effect on me, um, but it has made me stronger, so that's a good thing. I'd say the hardest experience of all of it was 2007, which a lot of my video art is about, because in 2007, not only did I lose myself, I lost a member of my family, I lost a person that I loved. And 2007 was also the year that I found out I was bipolar and had a massive breakdown. Um, that was also the year that I left school, so it's kind of a lot of emotions everywhere, I would say. 2007 has definitely been the hardest year of my life. Um, I won't go into too much detail about everything that happened that year in this video, but maybe when I've developed more confidence I'll be able to speak about it in a future video. So this has been my hardest experience, slash hardest experiences. I hope this wasn't too depressing. Everybody have a beautiful day, wherever you are. Um, comment down below and tell me about your hardest experiences, if you feel comfortable enough telling me that or comfortable enough, you know, posting a comment. Or maybe just tell me the hardest year of your life, therefore you don't have to reveal anything.